Uh, sorry that I'm not going to be paying much attention to you because I'm going to be using this uh, camera to direct my attention to you because I feel that this video that I'm recording on right now, well, this video, I think this video is going to be uh, deleted, so I have to focus my attention on this one instead. Okay, so I will begin it now. Yeah. Anyway. I just want you to know that I feel the reason why Israel wins all its uh, uh, wars against the Muslims is because if Israel didn't win the wars against Muslims, then the Quran, well, two scriptures in the Quran would be false. Uh, uh, the, well, actually, three scriptures in the Quran. That'd be Quran 17, 104. 520 and 521. Because if you read those scriptures, it really sounds like Allah gave the Holy Land to the Jews, to the Israelis, not to the Muslims, not the Palestinians, the Gazans, but to the Jews, to the, 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 the children of Israel. And I think that's why I, Israel has an iron dome, and that's why no matter how much the Muslims of Gaza try to kill the 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 women's and children's of of Israel, the Iron Dome stops it. And even Muslims say that it seems like God is uh, that that the God of Israel is uh, causing the the rockets to go off course, you know, and end up hitting the the Muslims, you know. And I'll I'll show you why that I feel the reason why Israel keeps on winning these wars against the Muslims because of these two scriptures from the Quran. Okay, Quran 17, 104, Pictel version. And we, that's Allah, saying we, even though shirk is the worst of, of uh, sins, uh, said unto the children of Israel after him, dwell in the land, that's the promised land, that's the land that's being contested right now. Uh, but when the promise of the hereafter cometh to pass, we, all the same we again, even even though I'm sure partnering with all this just unforgivable. We shall bring you, that's the Jews, as a crowd gathered out of various nations. And I think this is why Israel wins all its wars with the Muslims. And then the Shakir says, And we all said to the Israelites after him, Dwell in the land, and when the promise of the, land, of the next life shall come to pass, we'll bring you both together in judgment. It, yeah. Of course, that's the only time that it mentions judgment here that I can see. Yusuf Ali then says, 1985 edition, and we, that's all again said, uh, we, and we, uh, thereafter, to the children of Israel, dwell securely in the land. That's the promised land, you know? And securely, that means, you know, that's why the missiles from uh, Gaza can't kill the Jews, I think, because of these scriptures here in the Quran. But when the second of the warnings came to pass, we, all the same we again, gathered you, Jews, Israelis, together in a mingled crowd. Now this is 520 and 521. Pickle. Okay. And remember when Moses said unto his people, the Jews, O oh my people, remember all the favor, and remember all this favor unto you, how he placed among you prophets and made you kings and gave you that which he gave not any other like the promised land and to uh, of his creation and what do you and what was that all he gave the Jews in the promised land we'll read on further here oh my people go into the holy land the promised land which Allah hath ordained for you see it was ordained by Allah and that tells me that if the Muslims were there right now it'd be going against the the Quran the clear signs, the, the clear signs handed down that explains things fully in detail. The Quran would be false. And that is why I think Israel wins all its wars against the Muslims. Yeah, all my people go into the Holy Land, the Promised Land, which Allah hath ordained for you. Turn not in flight, for surely ye turn back as losers. You know, so, so stay in Israel, or you'll be losers, you know. You Jews, you'll be losers if you don't. And that's why the Jews are there, and that's why they keep on winning. They only be the only losers if they lack the promised land, you know. It shouldn't go to the Muslims, it should go to the Jews. Or the Quran is false. These Quran scriptures are false. I'll read on. Uh, okay, now the Shakir version of Quran 520. 
And when Musa said to his people, O oh, my people, remember the favor of Allah upon you, when he raised prophets among you and made you kings and gave you what he had not given uh, to other nations among the nations of you know, the promised land. Because it goes on in Shakir, it says, O oh, my people, enter the, the holy land, uh -huh, promised land, holy land which Allah have prescribed for you and turn not on your backs for then you will be back you'll be turned back losers. In other words, you gotta stay there, you Jews, you gotta stay there or you be losers. And they're there and that's why I think the Iron Dome is working so well. No matter how much the Muslims pray for Allah to get those Muslims those missiles in to kill all the women and children of Israel, the Iron Dome keeps it from happening. Instead they're ones the, the missiles they even said that that the missiles seem to fly off course and hit them. And it's like like God. They said the God of Israel seems like it changes the course of the missiles and they hit them. And I think that's why because of Quran five twenty one here. Okay, now five twenty of the Yusuf Ali. Remember Mo Moses said unto his people, O oh, my people, call in remembrance the favor of Allah to you when he produced prophets among you, made you kings, and gave you what he hath not given any other peop among the peoples. He didn't give it to the Muslims. He didn't give it to the Arabs. He gave it to the Jews. O oh, my people, enter the land which Allah hath assigned unto you and turn back and turn not back ignominiously. For for then will ye be overthrown to your own ruin. So you got to stay there or you'll be overthrown. And so the Jews are there. Guess what? They keep on winning. Either that or the Quran is false. You know, this, the Quran be false here. So that is why the Jews keep on winning. And that is why the the Palestinians seem to be like living in rat like rat, rats because they're they're not supposed to be there because according to these, these scriptures and the the quote clear signs handed down explains things fully detailed the Quran Allah gave the land to the Jews that would be Gaza you know that that the, the place that, yeah, that Israel traded with the Muslims in the hopes of achieving peace back in 2005 you know so if you a Muslim are ticked that Israel keeps on winning uh, these wars against the Muslims your fellow Muslims Blame these scriptures in Quran 17, um, what is it, 17, 104, uh, 520, and 521. But 